Hey, have you ever wondered whether you should be weighing yourself every day or just once a week or maybe once a month? If so, then this video is for you. Hey, my name is Brandon with BrandonJaeger.com, and I appreciate you following along with my journey here as I try to create a better future self. And one of the things that I'm doing to try to create a better future self is being very aware of trying to uh, be healthier and be fitter and eat better. And one of those things that I am doing is I am weighing myself on a daily basis. And then in this video, I want to talk to you about three reasons why I think it's very important for you to do so. Let's go ahead and get started. So reason number one, this is anything that we're trying to do in habit making and breaking. It's, it's all about atomic habits. James Clear wrote the book, Atomic Habits. And by being able to do something every single day and make it part of your daily routine, it means that it's going to be something that's going to be more easily able, something that you're going to be able to stick with for the long term. And remember, these small habits that over a long term that you can change are going to allow you to eventually just these little 1% incremental small changes are going to allow you to make the transformation that you're looking for. So reason number one, atomic habits. Number two, I believe that as I've been going over this over the last month, I think I'm going to be able to recognize a faster response is needed if I start to uh, maybe get a little out of line with my my habits or not my habits, but my eating for any particular day. And I and I again, I'm not uh, I'm not completely strict on everything, and and even my two meals a day, it's more of a sixteen eight where I'm, I'm focused on the eleven to seven window. But if I have uh, a day like this past Saturday, we had a birthday party over my mom and dad's house for my mom. And we, we had a breakfast. It, it was at 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we actually topped it off with some ice cream cake. Like who is going to pass up ice cream cake, right? So I, I, I indulged a little bit more than I probably should have. But weighing myself every day allowed me to see that, oh, you know what? That ice cream cake, it it, it made the scale tip upwards uh, the next day whenever I went to weigh myself. So um, it allows for you to real, real quickly recognize, hey, you know what? That was that was OK. We we went a little overboard yesterday, but today we need to get right back on the plan. And then it ties directly into uh, number three. And, and I want to caution you on this because weighing daily, if you don't have the right mindset going into it, then you might set yourself up for getting very disappointed. And my wife and I, we talk about this because some days I'll hop on the scale and I'm literally two pounds heavier than I was. Like if I hop on, hop on the scale today, it would not surprise me if I was two pounds heavier than where I was yesterday. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, but I realized that my body weight, it just continuously goes up and down a little bit. But the important thing is, is that it continues to ratchet down. And herein lies the danger. Um, Benjamin Hardy and Dan Solomon, they wrote a book uh, about the gap and the gain. And the danger is when you weigh yourself and if you sit there and you're like, man, I'm two pounds heavier than I was yesterday and I work so hard you're looking at that from the gap perspective where you get so let down on what happened over the last 24 hours it just completely deflates you you really need to focus your mindset and put that mental shift in place for the gain and think about where you were when you started this journey and how far you've progressed even though that one little moment lets you down you this is why i feel that and I've been weighing myself every single day and, 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 and I'm going to do another video on this uh, coming up here in about four or five days. But uh, the, the problem has been that I weigh myself every single Friday versus looking at the seven day moving average. And that's this is the, the third point that I really want to drive home. Weighing yourself every day is going to allow you to get a true seven day moving average of what your weight change is, which is going to be a far more accurate uh, indicator of the success that you're having as you progress along this journey. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yes, I do recommend weigh yourself every single day, but don't get bent out of shape. If it's, if it's higher, don't focus on the gap, focus on the gain that you've made the entire progress along the way.
All right, so if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel, follow my journey, uh, my Future Soft Rocks project. It's in full swing. I, I'm dedicated to making positive change in my life. And if you want to follow along, I'd appreciate it. Um, head over to brandonyeager.com forward slash newsletter, sign up, subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, and if you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up on the video. I'd appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments in the video or about the video, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks.